good day everyone. Today's topic is all about triangles. What is a triangle? A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. A triangle with vertices A, B, and C is denoted with this symbol and read as triangle A, B, C. So this is an example of a triangle. So as you can see this triangle, we have point A or the vertex A, the vertex B, and the vertex C. A triangle has three vertices and three edges. So we have, once again, the vertex A, the vertex B, and the vertex C. And also, this edge and another edge and of course the base edge are the three edges of this triangle. A triangle has a sum of 180 degrees of its interior angle. It means that these three interior angles of a triangle, when you get the sum of these three interior angles, will give you an exactly sum of 180 degrees. We have also a classification of triangle according to its angle. So we have here the three classifications according to its angle. So the first one is what we call as the acute triangle. So a triangle that has three acute angles. Each angle measures more than zero degree but less than 90 degrees. Let's take for this example. We have here triangle A, C, B or triangle B, C, A and the measurement of each angle. So we have 41 degrees 66 degrees and 73 degrees as you as what you have observed as what we have observed rather uh, this the, the measurement of these three angles are all less than 90 degrees and when we add up or get the total of these three measurement of this angle I mean this triangle, the sum will be 180 degrees. So we have 66 plus 41, that is 107. Plus 73, it will give us 180 degrees exactly. We have also a right triangle. So this triangle, it is a triangle with one right angle. When we said right angle, the measurement of that right angle is exactly 90 degrees. So it means that a triangle is a right triangle if and only if it has a one right angle. So one of its Angle measurement must be equal to 90 degrees. And of course, we have the obtuse triangle. So obtuse triangle, it is a triangle with one obtuse angle or measuring more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So it means that the measurement of each one angle must be from 91 degrees to 179 degrees only. So, if a triangle has one obtuse angle, that triangle is also called as an obtuse triangle. And so, these are the classifications of triangle according to its angle. 
And now we have also classification of triangle according to their signs. There are three also. So first one we have an isosceles triangle. A triangle that has at least two congruent signs. What does it mean? What does it mean when we said two congruent signs? So two congruent signs implies that the two sides of a triangle are equal in measurement. Just like for this example, as we can see here, the two sides has a denotation of a single line, the blue line. So it denotes that the measurement of this side of the given triangle and also with this side are equal. So when this side measures 10 cm, the other side must also measure 10 cm to make this triangle an isosceles triangle. And another one, we have also equilateral triangle. It is defined as a triangle that has three congruent sides. So the three congruent sides measures equally. So it means that this side, the base side, and the right side must be equal in its measurement. So if this side measures 15 cm, the base side also must measure 15 cm and the right side of this triangle must measure also 15 cm to make this triangle equilateral or equilateral triangle. And for the last one, we have the scalene triangle. It is defined as a triangle that has no congruent sides. So when we said no congruent sides, it means that each side or each of the three sides of the given triangle must not be equal in measurement. So we have here the side, this, uh, this side must not be equal to the measurement of the base side and must not also equal to the measurement of the other side. All in all, each of these three sides must be different in measurement to each other. And I think that's all for today's lesson. Thank you for listening and may God bless us always.